Lake. 40,000 of them all congregate together, and that's where they molt. They almost put on new clothes. They molt all their feathers and get all nice brand spanking new ones. So they're in lovely good condition for the winter. And then they migrate back. So we get them here in the summer, here in the winter, but from July to September, they migrate off to the Netherlands. Very interesting. Now we've got lots of mallards. Now you'll recognize those, they're the ducks that you see on your local lakes and rivers. The males have those beautiful bottle green heads, yellow bills, and that fantastic white neck collar. It's just absolutely stunning. If you look at that green, it's iridescent in the light. Really beautiful. Now mallards, as I say, most of them breed here at Martin Mere, so you see them all year round. But the numbers of our mallards do fluctuate, and we get lots more, especially when it's cold in January, February time, as birds are coming across from the continent. So some of these mallards could be from France and Germany. Now look closely. In amongst the ducks, you'll see some pintail. They do prefer it in front of the in-focus hide. There's some in amongst all the way along. Grey ducks, they've got a chocolate brown head, white chest, and that white then goes up into the neck and is almost like an S shape. They've got a long, thin tail and a big yellow splotch right at the bottom of their bottoms. And the pintail, as the name suggests, you know, they've got that lovely, thin, long tail. And they come from Russia. That's where they breed, just like the Burek songs. Also look out for the widgeon. Now they're grey duck with a pink chest, a burgundy head, and then they've got bright yellow mohican. Now these are our night owls. So they've actually only just woken up. This is the equivalent of their breakfast. And what they'll do is they'll finish eating this grain, and as the light starts to fall, they'll then head out to go and feed. And just like the swans and the geese, they'll go out into the fields and feed on the agricultural waste and the short grass. And then at dawn, they'll fly back into the reserve and sleep all day. Now they don't quack, they whistle, so you can hear them whistling away now as they're getting excited about the grain. Now my favourite ducks, they're actually in the water and they're called the potchard. Now they're diving ducks. They've got bright red heads, a blue bill, grey back, black chest and bottom. Now they're specially adapted for diving under the water to get the grain from the bottom of the pool. And you won't see them come up onto the land because their legs are right at the back of their body. They're quite awkward at walking on land. They come to us from Russia, same as the pintail and the Buick swans. So they fly all the way here for the winter and enjoy feeding in front of this hide. Now unfortunately, just like the Buick swans, they're declining massively. 10, 15 years ago here at Martin Mere, we had over a thousand potchard at our feeds. Now we've just got 49 is the latest count. They're massively declining. Again, we x-ray the birds and we find that 50% of the potchard have got gunshot wounds. Um, so they are really struggling from hunting pressure. They also do a thing where they've got lead poisoning. And this is where they pick up little pieces of lead um, from the bottom of the pools, from things like pheasant shooting, and this gets ground up and uh, it can be poisonous as it gets into their blood system. Now you won't see many female potchard out here. Look out, there's a couple and they've got a dark brown head and a light brown body. And the reason there's not many female potchard here is because of the fact that the female potchard actually go to Spain for the winter, which I think sounds much better. <laughs> More intelligent, that's what I like to say, but I get told off for saying that. <laughs> now, quite a lot of the swans have come out of the water now. So have a look at their legs and you'll see some of them have got colour rings on. Now, there's a touchscreen interactive on the left side of the bird hide. And you can actually type in those colour rings and find out all about the birds. One of my favourites, she's called Virginia. 
She's got a yellow ring, which is DJA. And she's actually 27 years old. It's a really good age for a swan. Now from that colouring, we know how old she is. But we also know that she's with her third husband. I love it, it's like he's sent us, it's amazing. She's had lots of signets over her time, so she's actually brought back 30 signets to Martin Mir. She would call her a super hooper. She's absolutely fantastic, a really good mum. And some of her signets have been ringed, and so we know her children and her grandchildren. So I'm going to turn off my mic now and hopefully answer any questions. <coughs> I'd just like to say thank you very much for coming. Your admission fee, your membership, allows us to do all that research that I was telling you about, but also look after this amazing reserve. Thank you.